Yo, what's up, brother? Yo, what's up? What's going on? You look good, brother. In that pink. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yo, this is actually my first shirt mm. that we ever uh, did oh, yeah. a podcast, but we didn't even air that shit. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we scrapped that shit. Remember? Yeah, yeah we Took did. Took a couple um, of trial and errors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say there, buddy. Ooh, but, uh, looking good. Looking good, brother. Yeah, brother. So we got some cues, didn't we? From we some does. of our fans. And <clears throat> also, like, I think we should provide uh, our email in the link below. So yes, for please. those of you who have questions about yeah. Korea or mm -hmm. whatever, you can just email us there mm -hmm. and we can try to answer your questions. Please, please whatever email us your questions. And also, if you have any suggestions or anything about... And no, Anything. we cannot send you D pics. Well, Brian will, not me. <laughs> uh, so you're fooled. <laughs> Anywho's. All right. I have a whole so, collection of that. All right. So today we wanted to focus <clears throat> a lot on the. Uh, we had a, lot, a couple questions about um, the fitness in in Korea and how what different things about you know um, gyms and about fitness in in Asia and Korea more specifically. So we want to go into the first question is from uh, Lay Down Brother. Our, our girl Jasmine. Yeah, what up, Jasmine? Shout out what to Jasmine. What up, Jazz? <laughs> so uh, she wanted to know about uh, vitamins and where to get her vitamins? vitamins. Yes. Her vitamins. In Korea. In Korea, so. I would recommend um, Costco. Mm -hmm. They, um, I mean, in terms of like protein supplements, uh, I don't, I, I, they do have some, but... If it's too far from you, you can just go, you can uh, go on a website called Cost Love and uh, they will deliver that shit to you. It's just like a Cost delivery. Love? Yeah. It's a service that they provide. They just, so, uh, mm -hmm. they don't have all the items up there, but mm -hmm. pretty much you will pay a little bit more because of the service. It's a uh, it's a Korean website. No, it's a it's a Korean website. Costlove.com. Costlove.com. That will be in the description below. Yeah, ladies and so gentlemen. you can just uh, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna <laughs> have to send money first. So they have yep. the bank account number there. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, you got to transfer your funds first, and then they'll deliver it. And for me, yeah, I I've gotten like you know like beef patties delivered and they oh, do shit. provide a ice box along with it although they do charge you a little bit for that mm -hmm. but hey man i live too far from costco right it's right, like right. it's like an hour <clears throat> yeah so and i don't want to hold all that shit what, what, so for me it's worth it you know what i'm saying dog yeah what about like coupon 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 that's, um, in that's in korean right is it all in korean or is there an I'm english not, i don't use coupon oh really yeah but that's a that's a good <laughs> online site it um, is for Koreans. Uh, well, for I use Coupang yeah, for yeah. like online shopping, everything. So if your Korean is somewhat like okay, then I, you could try to use that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it in the description below, and also G Market. Oh, G Market for sure. G Market, come on, that's like that's like eBay the owns one. it. By the way, when did this happen? I don't know, brother. Motherfucker, get on with it. Motherfucker, get on that. with it. Ooh, <laughs> anyhow. Yeah. I would say for vitamins, what I take is in Korea, there's a, a major company. You know Orlando Magics, right? Uh, yeah. At, at basketball. So yeah. they're owned by a company called uh, Amway. Mm -hmm. So Amway is a ginormous or organic, um, you know, pretty much supplement company. Uh -huh. Mainly vitamins and anything you can find. In Korea, Amway is huge. Yeah. There are some... There is one, um, there's a, most foreigners won't know this, but in Ori, Bundang, there's a place called Ori, and there's like mm. this ginormous fucking huge Amway building. Mm. So you can actually go there, and if you're like a member, you can actually like, you know, become a member, you can sign up. Um, and also they have like is there a fee? all these amazing vitamins. Mm. Yes, there's a fee for that. But every month? I would say... Annually... Yes, there is. For, for man, I forgot how much I pay for that. Damn, it's just some. I know now. I don't think there's a fee. There's oh. like a one-time fee for like okay. you know if you want to you know subscribe. Mm -hmm. But every time you go, <clears throat> um, it's like seventy dollars mm -hmm. per vitamin package, and that's good for like. I mean, so that's it's good in for bulk? like, huh? It's in bulk. 
It's in bulk. So you have there's like three types of vitamins in one like it's it's like a green little box mm-hmm. that they put in, and that's enough for like one month. Mm-hmm. It's pretty expensive. Seventy bucks is expensive, but there's like some organic shit. Okay, fuck that. Straight um, I think- to your bloodstream. If you're Ew. really, really as much as like my family is into vitamins. And but, also, if you're in the <clears throat> Pundang area, which is right below Seoul. But so, for, for normal th- people who are just trying to, you know, be healthy a little yeah, bit. But I think, like, for anyone who, like, if you're not near that area, I, I would recommend iHerb. iHerb? iHerb.com. Dude, you know a lot of places. iHerb.com is yeah. where you can buy, what is that? Cost so, they of- ship it from California. Mm-hmm. And... They're constantly shipping like shit in I like dot com. Mm-hmm. a ton, like a shit ton of um crap load of shit. So what like do you mean? What, what? pretty much like the in terms of the logistics, it's very fast. Yeah. So like they have um they have protein supplements, they have creatine, <laughs> they have all that jazz. Oh Vitamin really? Supplements, yeah, brother. They the, the stuff shit we get back they have home. They a lot right? of stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I'd say that's like one of the best things. Uh best uh, websites you could use and they also have like uh like grocery products like whether like if you want to use some seasoning taco seasoning uh-huh. or like i don't know like uh pancakes yeah buttermilk we're, yeah we're talking about like mix. american shit right yeah yeah and they're like, like orga- it's supposed to be like organic shit so like they have like the gluten freeze you got like all these different Holy healthy fuck, dude, i didn't know this this place existed yeah actually. and like the 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 what is it the shipping cost isn't that much it's not much uh-huh. at all yeah. really yeah so like i actually have an account like i can give you my you can use this code and then you could get i think up to 10 percent off mm-hmm. on your order and you don't have to use that code i mean that that helps me you know how I did mean? you get the code you every each it? and every person has a code oh sweet yeah dude. yeah so like if you refer Someone, it's like one of those kind of things. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I can provide that in the description below. Oh, look but at you. If, if you sign up, you automatically, I think you do get um, a discount on your first order. So you mm-hmm. could do that as well. Bro. But either way. That's some good I stuff. Heard, and also Monster Mart. Monster Mart. It might be .net, .com. Check it out. This will be in the description below as well. They, they have their uh, warehouse in uh, Richfield. What Monster Mart and they're yeah. basically shipping to and from Korea. Yeah, yeah. What kind of what kind of products are these? Like also, they're like mainly supplements and mainly sports supplements, like your oh, proteins, okay. your creatines, and be careful when you <clears> order. <throat> um, if you order like six bottles or more than six bottles, I believe of of, of <clears throat> protein or oh, whatever, mm-hmm. then they're just gonna fucking throw it in the trash you gotta be careful about that there's like a law <laughs> i'm being serious really yeah there's a law oh it's just- and like something with creatine man so like there's some i don't know but they might require you to put in your passport information don't worry i've done it. i've used it many times if they stop you while you're ordering just put your you know you just fill it out there's like a there's a page where you fill out your your name oh, on the shit. passport and your passport number and uh they might call you too they'll call you at the cost from the customs they will oh, like Lord. yeah like they just want to i don't know they, they're just like trying to make your life harder but anyways you just say yeah that's me it's straight whatever mm-hmm. for me i personally just um although i can speak korean just a little bit um, I just pretend like a complete foreigner. Yeah, you, that's the, yeah. I'm just actually like, comes yeah, in handy. Like, yeah, yeah. Just pretend like uh, you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> and then yeah, I get a ship to me. They're like, cause mm. they don't want to spend too much time on you. Yeah, you know right, what I mean. Right. So like, I just pretend like I don't know what's going. On. I'm like, oh, they're I like, oh know. fuck it, yeah, I don't want to like. They're like, okay, okay, uh, right, okay. English, so your oh, name, English. So they just like <laughs> confirm your name, confirm your address. Yeah, and then that's it. Hang up the phone. You're done. So I think that Damn, only okay. happens with creatine products. I'm not sure, but if they do stop you for that, like there, there's another page where you gotta fill out your passport number. Just don't be, don't be scared. Just fill that shit out. You're straight, though. Damn, look at you, mm-hmm. fools acting like it's like a like anthrax over here, motherfuckers. Uh, like some yeah. fishy shit, you know. Mm. It's, and it's they got just, like it's gear creatine. too, like workout gear, like straps. Oh, like, on uh, Monster Mart. Yeah, yeah. They got like <laughs> mm, like shirts from like Animal. Damn, um, they got uh whatever bags, mm-hmm. uh under under armor shit like 
not a whole bunch of stuff but and um i would highly recommend monster mart for like uh proteins creatines whatever all uh, right dude that's whatever some, that's some good shit yeah Whatever you're I into. Mean, you can also go to any, like, if you want uh, if you want to actually look at the products you're buying, you can actually go to, like, local Marts, um, E-Mart, uh, Home Plus. They, mm, have, they have... No. They, <laughs> they have workout products, too, but obviously, if you're buying from the States, you can... You know what you're buying. You know what you're, you're paying for, so... Well, not only that, but, like, mm-hmm. the... I think just, like, the filtering process is much better in the mm. States. So, like, right. whatever you're getting, it's, like... It's been like I mean I know it's just recent where they like started this whole supplement mm-hmm. like industry right yeah but like at the same time like they did refine themselves to so that like it actually tastes good and like there's um and yeah so like it just uh, it mixes better and shit right so I think in terms of quality uh-huh. um, American products are of course way better of than course. Korean products I mean, even with you know yeah even with like uh equipment stuff too i mean obviously we're just we can trust what we what we got back home more. and they have some sort of reward program as well for both iherb and monster mart uh-huh. so at the end like you will get like money back discount or some shit yeah, like that some discount or you get for the next order money back. And, uh-huh. yeah and the shipping and handling like i said it's not it's not so much so uh-huh. i personally like i use it all the time word yeah okay that's yep. awesome um yeah so there were, another question is um okay a lot of people wanted to know about you know because you know you people want to be healthy right <laughs> no so they, oh shit okay go die then <laughs> you anyway. my tequila oh damn you had that last night <laughs> anyway so uh, <laughs> people Actually, I did. people want to oh. know <laughs> people want to know tequila. How does the gym system work in Korea? Is it how are the gym? What are the gym? Okay. What's the gym quality like in Korea? Uh, where can I find the gym? How much am I gonna pay on average? Shit like that. So first and foremost, gyms are called health. Um, Hesu. Hesu. <laughs> Chang is like place. Hey, so so yeah. health place. <laughs> yeah, a whole place, literally. Yeah. yeah. So go on your neighbors. Go on your dams. You know what I'm saying, damn. No, fuck? but go on your towns. Yeah, uh, <laughs> go on the maps, and mm. you can find out what's near you. Anyways, uh, it goes by like one month, three months, six months, and whatever. Mm. So, although like in the states, we we have our credit card on file, and it would just automatically charge you for whatever each month. Uh-huh. But in Korea, you do have to pay up front. Mm-hmm. So if you're gonna pay one month, it's yeah. gonna be at its highest rate right so yes. it will be around 80 maybe i know that depends on the gym mm-hmm. 80 dollars mm-hmm. around 80 dollars mm-hmm. which is right i would say 50 to 80 would be on average what you're paying a little more than 50 though if you i would say on average if you're doing a three to six month sub- sub- subscription program it'll be a, on around average 50 around month. 50 a month yeah so yeah. what i personally do i pay 150 for three months in advance. But you got to pay up straight, right? Yeah, you got to pay up front. Yeah. So, yeah, that does <laughs> add up to be 50 per month. So that's About 50. I, I mean, the equipment, you have... A set, I mean, they're not going to be like... Some gyms are better than others, obviously. The equipment themselves, you know, they're not going to be... Some gyms have like American... American style equipment. equipment. And what I mean by that is like some uh, gyms have like the, the Chinese uh, equipment... And so yeah. it's weird. Like you can almost hurt yourself because you can. it's not like fixed to the right range of motion. Yeah. So yeah. you can. It's you got to be careful with what All you're right. using. Right. Yeah. But I'm not a huge like machine person. Mm-hmm. So like I do use free weights. So yeah. There's that. I would recommend. I mean, as long as you have free weights and mm-hmm. you have barbell, you got you got shit that's uh, you know that you can work out with. You're fine. But. Honestly, the quality of the gyms here would be not as I mean unless you're paying states. in co- if you're comparing like what you're paying for, but in both both con- in both places. Yes, so sir. I would say yeah. Um, and if you have if you pay with a credit card, if you have a visa or whatever, it they will charge you like the, the an credit card extra fee, yeah. like whatever percent eight uh, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will charge you yeah. and then an additional international fee, I believe. From your credit card company. Please keep in mind that the gym culture, the fitness culture in Korea is definitely on the rise. Definitely. So, what's the Huh? Oh, yeah. The fuck did you say to me? <laughs> <laughs> there are, uh, gyms are definitely more like 
you know, there many more are f- like they're making, they're rising up more. You know, there there are gyms kind of uh, popping being, up here, yeah, and there, here huh? and there. They're coming up. Just Pilates. So, there's yeah, there's like a lot of like you know yoga, yoga hot yoga, yeah, hot, yeah, yeah, like flying yoga and mm. shit like that. So, Wait, what? Flying? Flying yoga is where they strap those like carpet shit from the the ceiling, and you're like you're you're like doing yoga upside down and shit hanging oh out, hang, shit hanging off the fucking cloth shit that sounds like some that, porno oh i mean I don't know what, what kind, kind of porno, porno you, you watching oh, brother shit. <laughs> anyway. hanging upside down oh porno. That pa, pa, pa. Porno. anyways Ew. what were you saying brother? That was, that's a big thing uh, mm-hmm. and also like there's like some different types of uh there's different types of gyms too like if you're into like um pole dancing there's like pole dancing classes too in some areas, and Brian's mm. very into that. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, there's like different types of things you Twerk. can you can go, yeah, like dance classes and shit like that. So, um, I would definitely invest in a gym if you're in Korea. I mean, they're good enough. Um, a little more expensive, it might be, but they have everything you need. Uh, just just know that, um, <coughs> you are probably gonna have somebody touching you, talk to you when you're naked. Yeah. Or we, look at you or some <laughs> shit like that. And what he means by that is like um, in Korea, uh, we do have that spa culture where yeah. people are very comfortable naked with each <laughs> other. So yeah. some old dude might just or bend over lady, right yeah. in front of you and mm. his taint <laughs> is wide open in front Ew. of your face. <laughs> Fucking A, man. And uh, yeah. It's like giving um, me nightmares yeah, as like, you speak. He might like brush off some dust off your shoulder with his bush too. Because oh. they don't do a lot of grooming there. So <laughs> uh, please groom. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. So um yeah, that's that's that. And also, yeah, uh there are a lot of mountains in Korea, so you can go hiking. Like uh, hiking is a big thing here in any any season, yeah. especially fall and this and the summertime. Yeah. Fall and well, also the spring, spring summer. yeah, spring, yeah. spring and fall because yeah. uh, the leaves change colors and it's really nice to look at. So look at you, look at me, look at me, I'm a so, flower. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're called cherry blossoms. Mm, um, you the, love that cherry. Blossom. Oh shit, popping that cherry in the spring. <laughs> um, what? Yeah. Also, I think um, people asked a lot about should you meal prepping and shit like that. Should you cook at home? Okay, honestly, what do you think about this? I mean, you 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 do you really into like prepping your meals, you know, a lot of times, right? Um, well, I don't really prep my meals. Oh. I just I just oh, okay. cook on the spot, but Oh, okay. But yeah, um yeah, I would say like get your chicken uh-huh. from uh like whether it's on G Market or Coupang. <laughs> I mm-hmm. think they yeah, they sell it in bulk. Yeah. So and they will provide an ice box along with it, mm-hmm. so you don't have to worry about being home or whatever. So yeah, just cook that bad boy up. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Like I usually cook at home, so yeah, you can make like what I usually do is like I make like spaghetti mm-hmm. with chicken or uh, mm-hmm. they the ground beef they don't sell here in the in the grocery stores, but uh, well they. Some of them do, but that's like hanu. That's like right. domestic Korean beef, domestic cow, which is yeah. like you're gonna pay a premium it's, for it's that. It's expensive as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to do that. Like, like I said, like what I do is I buy the beef um, patties mm-hmm. from Costco mm-hmm. from costlove.com. Yeah, and you could use that. You could break it down. You don't have to use it as a patty. You could just mm. use that as ground beef. Meaning, like you could shape it into a fucking meatball or whatever just break it down to make a burrito i mm-hmm. make burritos mm-hmm. you know they they have um yeah man i they have uh what is it what is it the what is that shit brother the tortillas yeah yeah right yeah. they got the tortillas mm-hmm. here um so yeah i make burritos and chicken sandwiches mm-hmm. tuna sandwiches you can buy a shit ton of tuna online mm-hmm. that's what i do um for the meats mm-hmm. and yeah Every, uh, mm. All the meats that I buy is from online. Cause, online, just because like I get it in bulk, because you, that's the uh, that's the uh, best method. Is I it think. one of the cost love iHerb or MonsterMart.com or like are the iHerb? Oh, what was your question? Oh, like the meat that you buy online. Oh, is it from one of the three websites that yeah, you? Yeah, chicken is from uh, G Market. Yeah, G Market's 
pretty, I mean, come on, yeah. that's, they're legit. Yeah. yeah. And also, um, for <laughs> beef, like I said, cost love right. from Costco. Mm-hmm. You don't need a membership. You do have to pay them first, mm-hmm. but yeah, they're pretty straight with that. Yeah. They, they provide it in an ice box. And also, uh, tuna, tuna, um, you won't save a whole bunch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Buying it in bulk, but it's just easier just having it delivered right in front of your right, door. Right, true. So, like, yeah, I do get a whole bunch of tuna from G Market as well. And, yeah, all the other things, like tortillas or, like, um, like spaghetti. like The, the more I imported j- stuff. Well, yeah, just, like, your, yeah, all the other things, miscellaneous. You just get it from your local market. Yeah, you can. Well, local yeah. markets will have all, most of the things you're looking for yeah. as well. I would say that if you're going to go to Costco because you want to check it out for the first time or you want to buy some, you know, like American, like, you know, whatever, where you, wherever country you're from, if you want it, like some a taste of home. They got do, them hot dogs, brother. Do not mm. go on Saturdays. They will fuck your shit you up. You will not be able to fuck. We you'll, talk, get a, you'll get we, a hit replacement yeah. because... Um, it's the, the <laughs> space is still fairly big, but not big enough. It's not big enough. Absolutely not. Korea, especially Seoul, yeah. there's just way too many people. There's more people in Seoul than New York City. Like, yeah, yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. there's a shit ton of people, brother. And there's everybody. like two million more people or so. I don't, I don't know the exact numbers, but anyways. everybody is trying to get around with their fucking carts and. Let me tell you one thing about oh, Koreans. Fuck. Yeah, like they don't give no fooks. They will like fuck your shit up with their carts. The thing is, Koreans don't have your they- shit gonna get dented in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yes, <laughs> with their carts. Fucking go kart. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, so but, run um, you over, man. Just, just, just don't go on a weekend. I would say, uh, if you want to go out to Costco, just to check it out or. Buy some stuff that you miss back home or whatever, um, like deodorant and shit. That's like I would say you gotta go to Costco. You gotta go for that. Yeah, there's one Costco on the the re, um the, the new Pundang Pundang line, mm-hmm. right? Uh, the red, the red yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, Yangjae. Yeah, Yangjae. Yangjae. So you can Next go there. To Gangnam. Mm-hmm. Um, you're gonna have to walk a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard to describe here, but pretty much just use your damn map, your Dao map or Kakao map, whatever. Kakao maps is Kakao the maps. shit. Navigating and uh, there's another Costco, I believe, somewhere in East Seoul. Mm-hmm. So if you're living near East Seoul, then you can go over there. And yes. Yeah. I forget what where it was, but anyways. Like I said, if you're not near there, you want to use Cost Love. Yeah. They might not have everything, but <coughs> yeah. And I want to also say that I personally, I love my pancakes, brother. That's what I'm saying. I love my cakes. Oh, God. Okay. So Costco, they don't... Um, I know Cost Love. I don't think they have it there, but um, I uh, I order it from iHerb, man. Uh, how is it? Is that the, the, like the batter it's is good, good, brother? It's like... It's good. Because like Koreans... Korean style pancakes suck. Yeah, the I don't. Flour fucking sucks. They do have uh, they the don't pancake pancakes. mix here. The Korean one, the nah, Korean style one. Don't get that shit. I don't recommend that. Yeah. I I love my pancakes like they is like in yeah. the states. So also sausages, man. Well, not the Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Korean sausages are not really sausages. I don't even know what the fucking the, what is that. It's just all like it's like I don't know. just plastic. It's weird. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. It tastes so much. like plastic with like Ugh. just shit in it. Yeah, man. I don't know what kind of like fillers that they're yeah. using there. <laughs> yeah, but like it tastes like shit. So I do recommend um, what's it called? Like <laughs> things called like Johnsonville or something. I don't know, man. Yeah, you're Johnson. But oh, um, okay. Yeah, you could. I do usually get those sausages mm-hmm. in in the market uh, in uh right. e-mart mm-hmm. or they might have it in home plus those are the two biggest uh shopping uh uh places that you could get it from right so you don't have to go to costco for your sausages mm-hmm. yeah definitely. and cheese i get my cheese from cost love cost love yeah they're I, legit cheese yeah like, they're not fake cheese you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i know what you're saying so like <laughs> cheese, cheese here thing. in korea it's it's uh <laughs> It's not cheese. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, you want you might want to invest in like I pay like, oh man, I don't know. I, anyways, I paid like maybe like 
ten dollars or fifteen dollars for the mm -hmm. cheese i mean it is costco so it's it comes in bulk right so but you, i got my like whatever the mozzarellas mm -hmm. the whatever cheddar mm -hmm. um monterey jack oh you, know shit, I mean? you okay. get you get a variety mm. i mean there's other ones too just check out the website yeah i would say korean delivery system is by far like it's fucking amazing it's on that, point that, that's that's it's something that point. i love about this country yeah. it's and so also, convenient surprisingly enough i heard where their warehouse is actually in california their delivery their shipping is super fast i'm telling brother. you man i think yeah. i got my shit within the, the same week man really the same week <clears throat> dude yeah. they're getting better with that shit now yeah it's just more demand be now because there's so much demand yeah. like they're just shipping like everything even koreans you know I mean? they want the cheese they want yeah. the authentic shit like pancake batter and shit like yeah. that you know yeah so it's there's much more demand the sriracha yeah. they they have sriracha, <laughs> on a, sriracha. I, I heard uh yeah are, uh, you could get cheap syrup here the mm, korean kind mm. i that i don't mind yeah i also want to okay basically one thing you should do um i think you Before might you agree die. with me is like mm. um you should open a, a bank account if you're gonna transfer if you're gonna wire money back and forth from this where wherever country you are at i would recommend opening a shinhan oh lord um a kb which is kungmin bank in, in Did Korean. you just call me a gook? I fucking called you a gook, bro. Oh, Fuck, shit. What you gonna do about that shit? Yeah, no, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Gungmin, or I would get um, NH, Nonhyap, Nonhyap, or Uri. You just mentioned like all the banks. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> those are the four major ones. Um, I have Uri and Shinan. But I would recommend opening a Korean bank account back home, like one of the four I just mentioned. And yeah, because when you're wiring I'm money, yeah. when you're wiring money back and forth, there's no the charge. international rates are fucking incredibly terrible. Mm. You pay like unreasonably a lot more than you should. Mm. So if you if you have um if you have a Korean bank back home wherever you're from, it will definitely cut like you don't have to pay a lot of international rates. I know there's rates. a worry bank back home. There's a Uri and a Shinan. Yeah, that's that's why I'm like wiring money back and forth is so easy for me. I do and it every if month. If you guys can't find one, it's probably in your Korea towns. If you guys have, if you a have Korea a K town, yeah. But you but, probably have a Shinan or. I something mean, else, what something I like personally you know what I'm do, I I do have a KB mm -hmm. um, bank account. And back home? I, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Just here, mm -hmm. and then I just send it back. But I pay like. <coughs> <coughs> I guess it depends on how much you send it, but. I mm -hmm. pay like around like twelve dollars. Uh huh. You know the outgoing wiring fee. Yeah. And yeah. then the incoming wiring wiring fee another like twelve from my Chase Bank. Yeah. So you don't. Yeah. I mean, for that, you know, you don't need to pay any international fees if you are if you do have a Korean bank account back home, which is what I do every month. Um. So it's really up to you. And I would recommend you to do the internet banking. Which Fuck is yeah. just like... Yep, you should definitely do that. Yeah, you can send money back home very easily mm -hmm. utilizing these apps. So, yeah, yeah, for me, it's weird. I have to use this little device um, yeah. that shows six-digit numbers. Thing, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and that's just like... Uh, it's called OTP. Whatever the fuck that sounds for, but you just like type in those damn numbers when you're, right. when you're like... <laughs> damn numbers. When you're trying to send... Uh, you know, money the back funds home. back home. Mm -hmm. That's like the last step or second Dude, to last step. Setting that shit up, isn't it a headache, right? Oh, my God. Bro, Korea has... Because all these... There's so many hackers here, man. Scammers. There's so many. So Credit like, cards and the scammers. Yeah, there's so huh? many. Oh, what oh, the sorry. fuck? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Uh, Shout out yeah. to designer. Ooh. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> anyway. So there's a lot of... um. Oh, my God. Internet banking. That's so... That's that's a hell of... It's going to be a bit... It's very hellish yeah. to set it up. Maybe on, we can make a video later. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, wait. You got to no, go to the bank to do that. Yeah. Actually, fuck that. Uh, Trust <laughs> we're me. Not I don't want to do, do that. that. I don't want to die of stre like stress. No, that's like really... It's pretty complicated. You I, have to go to the bank to do that. They yeah. will. They will... You have to do it and they'll show you how to set it up, but you have to go through a lot of security auth authorization yeah. shit yeah, yeah. in order to set it up. So just for, letting you know. And for me, like my Korean's not as good as yours, but like I don't know like Korean banking terms. So like I'm telling you it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I just I go there's like a VIP section. For what? Um in, in my KB bank. 
So oh, really? like, if you guys could just literally play that foreigner role and just be like, I don't know where I'm at. What's the IP? <laughs> you know, then they'll help you. <laughs> Get the fuck out then. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I always do that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't know because it's uh, they do have like a waiting pending yeah. line, and you have to wait for your number to be called. Yes, and. Most of the time, there's just a shitload of people. Mm-hmm. So, like for me, I just like stumble into the VIP room. Yeah. I was like, I don't know, and I just right. like speak English. Yeah. And then they're like, Oh, like he speaks yeah. English, and like so yeah. they, the they're like, I guess they're like a higher positioned people. Yeah. There, and uh, mm-hmm. they'll help you. They'll they'll literally like yep. baby step. Like they'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. tell you. They will walk you through. Right. They'll hold they'll your hand. You hold something else. Uh, oh shit. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So another thing you gotta <laughs> you want if you're coming for the first time mm-hmm. and you're gonna stay here for more than you know like six months or whatever, you definitely want to get um those um outlet uh those outlet converters. Yeah, the, the adapters. Pow- adapter converters. Yeah. So like obviously your it depends on the product, but for most electronics, they have an adapter and you can see it on one of the labels. It says like the range of the right. voltage mm-hmm. that it's capable of converting, whatever. Yeah, like for most laptops or uh phone chargers, whatever, you're straight. So like all you need is an adapter which just attaches the the two prongs i mean the two little fucking shits <laughs> <laughs> uh, great choice of words buddy yeah, yeah yeah that stick out and then it yeah yeah and then um but for like other things um such as like your hair straightener products mm. like they don't have a adapter thing right. attached mm-hmm. to it so if there's no like like a block of whatever then chances are it, it can't handle the voltage here. yeah 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 yeah. because it's like uh it's i think it's stronger here mm-hmm. so like especially for u.s products uh-huh. you got to be careful about that mm-hmm. so you can't just even though you you plug in you know the adapter onto it it doesn't mean it's going to change the voltage it just means like it's just yeah. using the amount of voltage that where the, where the socket's exactly. coming from so exactly if you really need to use this product that mm-hmm. you have uh, there is something called I know it's gonna sound silly, but it's called a transformer. So no, I'm not talking about <laughs> Optimus Prime. Oh, you're I'm talking not? about uh, <laughs> it's just like a this uh, square shit. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> you just turn that bitch on and then you plug in your your thing, and then yeah. what that does, it's mm-hmm. gonna convert the voltage yeah. power, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. you'll be. Uh, that's why we're we are actually using. These lights for our our podcast studio, mm. and they're from the states, I think. So yep. we're using the transfer, uh, the transformer right now. Yep, definitely. Um, good info. And also, if you wear, if you don't wear, tell me what to do. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. If you wear contacts, what? What's up? Oh no no. Keep going. Oh, keep if going. you if you wear uh like contact lenses, um, one good thing about Korea is, I don't know if they still do this in the states. I wear contacts. Um, hold on, man. Why is this guy calling me? Why well, booty are call? you calling me? Hold Who's on. It? Like, this is a teacher right now. Hold on. Oh. You have to pick it up? No. I'm not going to pick it up. I can't. I can't right now. <laughs> this is more what? important. Anyway, Why? so. He wants your D? Oh, no. He, he came. He This guy came from the state, uh, from South Africa today. Mm. Anyway, so. um, Dude, what is going on? Hold on a second, please. Sorry about this. Okay. Jesus All right. Christ. All right. So uh, if you want to, if you wear co- contacts, then um, one good thing about Korea is mm-hmm. that you don't need to get an eye uh, checkup every time you buy like a new pack. Because mm-hmm. they used to do that when I was there in the States. So it was mm-hmm. kind of annoying. I had to get a, a, a like an eye examination every single time. Uh-huh. I don't know. This, but here it's like you just tell any, you go to any like local um like lens or glasses store mm-hmm. and they will you just tell them like what do you what is your prescription and you just tell them they'll give you like whatever comp like you know whatever product you use like i use accuview oasis mm-hmm. th- and then you tell them your prescription they'll t- they'll just give it to you right away on the spot so it's really convenient um so please know your <laughs> prescription yeah also another thing is for i would recommend if you use a very particular type of tooth toothpaste for me it was like a big deal because 
I don't. I didn't really like the way toothpaste same. tastes in Korea. Same, same, so, same. I, I don't. I don't think it's good. To be honest, uh, I mean, I can't really like there are measure some, like, that. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, there, I mean, it's, I just feel like it's not getting the job done because it's not like minty enough or whatever. Yeah. Whatever you used to, it's good. Yeah. I mean, Korean products are good. I need Depends that on. full of fluoride yeah, shit I would, all over my mouth. Oh shit! Okay. You like that shit in your mouth. Anyway, yeah. so I would recommend buying a, a hell ton of toothpaste and also. Uh, you don't have to. Um, oh, you okay. Can, Look at you. There's uh, They sell Sensodyne in bulk and from Cost Love. So you could just okay. buy from there. Look at that. Cost Love. Just buy, just buy a mm-hmm. couple of. I mean, just bring a couple of uh, toothpaste. A couple of toothpaste like Crest or yeah, whatever you yeah. use back home. And then just buy it in bulk on Cost Love. Yes, sir. What's Every, the problem? I would say like most things no are done. <laughs> oh, shit. You can buy most things online, which is a really convenient thing. And yes, sir. Nowadays, you know, life is good. The world is great. So you can buy whatever the fuck uh, you want. Not you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. So anyway, next so, question. Uh, next question is: What are some cultural? What are some cultural differences that I need to watch out for when I talk to Korean people? Actually, I got this from a couple people. Actually, cultural what, what, like what, when I meet somebody for the first time. Yeah. Uh, what are some cultural differences that I need to? What are some things that I gotta watch out when I what I say or do? In order to not offend anybody, <laughs> it's actually a good question. Um, I would say don't. Or first of all, don't get offended when people ask you your age as soon as you meet them, because mm-hmm. they will they will do that. They will ask your age, and and like Koreans, they really kind of they um put people into I don't want to say categories, but. Basically, their your age tells a lot about like you know they're gonna judge what you. kind of what not judge you but like, they'll tell you like what kind of person what kind of like where you are in life mm-hmm. so it does make a difference to Koreans more than right other so like for example if you're like in your early twenties they're like oh okay you're like you haven't you know you're not like you know you haven't really worked a lot yet you're still like you know you just graduated mm-hmm. from college or yeah. they kind of like put you in this certain category it doesn't mm-hmm. it's not just a based on how mature you are it de- your age does define like certain parts so yeah just keep that in mind don't be like why are you asking my age don't get def- like offended because like yeah. in the states we don't talk about our age it's like what dude what are you doing yeah also they will ask you for your blood type that's a major thing what's your blood type bro so mine is a uh, oh, the koreans well, are the only so people a means uh, sensitive so okay koreans so cry for us so what the fuck um wow you're so <laughs> tough <laughs> anyway <laughs> how do you like that <laughs> anyway so uh, there was a japanese guy who wrote this book about blood types there's like four or four or five blood types out there o is a universal donor i think everyone knows that this guy wrote a book and it somehow just like exploded and it like because blood types he basically what the book is about is uh it, it identifies whatever blood type you are it you your p- characteristics and your personalities directly are f- reflected by your blood type. very much similar so, to like back in the states uh what sign you are pisces or leo yeah, 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 like whatever. your, your same zodiac shit, man. sign yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, right yeah. so the same shit. it's the same shit but Koreans, they don't do it as much anymore. Like, I would say 10 years ago, everybody asked you for your blood type. Mm-hmm. Do you know how bad it was? In a company what? interview, they would ask you here. what your blood type Are was. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, my God. So, nowadays, not as What's much. What's B? Because I'm B. B is you are a player. I'm not uh, even kidding. You're like a bad a boy. Oh, really? You're oh, like damn. a bad boy, and you got like... You're That's some, one you're, accurate you're information. You're kind of like bipolar in some bipolar? ways. That's very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, you can be like really super nice at one point, but mm-hmm. you can be like a total like asshole at another point. But like some girls okay. dig that's that. Accurate. So yeah. that's why it's like you kind of uh, do whatever you want kind of uh, image for, for. That's why there's a okay. drama called uh, the, uh, B, the B blood type man. Sounds pretty boring. And but, he was uh, like, he, he's like an asshole. Or something so oh, well, a is supposed right. to be sensitive and shit but anyway okay um yeah so those are i mean it's pretty much the same thing just just be respectful and uh don't be offended uh, koreans are still a lot of people are still ignorant towards like race and so like 
you know, and different like countries, yeah. cultural differences. Yeah, 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 they're, yeah, definitely. they're not trying to be rude. A lot of them, but it might come off. As it might rude. come off as offensive yeah. to you. Because if I were like, especially like with black people, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. like you know, they there might be like the uh, like older people, you know, some grannies that might actually touch your, you know, your hair, <laughs> your braids, like yeah, like that's I've seen that. I've seen mm-hmm. that. Oh, because they're like curious. They're just genuinely yeah, yeah. like, but Holy you know, fuck, their you know their intentions saying? are good. Like, you know, they they they're like, oh, like you know, they're just like smiling and shit. But yeah, you're, you might you're, you're, you might you're, be caught off guard. But yeah, yeah. I mean, also with um, yeah. Don't be offended if it's like they uh they have like different. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just just it's just kind of keep that in mind. Koreans are not. It's still a relatively uh uniform country in terms of the the you know race. And if you're Korean American, American so. or Asian American and you can't speak Korean well, I think they no. kind of like they just kind of. Um, they don't treat you as well as like the white foreigner. You know what I mean? If you're white, mm-hmm. you're good. You're good mm-hmm. to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, depends you're, on the. Per- you're good yeah. to go, like universally. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like <laughs> good to go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, it depends. Again, again, it depends on who you meet and also yeah. you know what kind of environment you're in. But um, that's that. Um, that's it's the, not. It's not uh-huh. bad though. Like it's not bad. It's not yeah. bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it. I would say it's not bad as like what I hear from like life in China. You know, I like I, I think Kathy, terrible. yeah, I think Kathy yeah. mentioned it. They're very like blunt, and they're very like they're very like some people they're are just racist. They're just full blown <laughs> racist. Some people are very racist. Yeah, I mean, not but everybody. here, mm-hmm. but here, it's not as it's not like that at all. Actually, yeah, it's, it's more. Fanny, yeah, it, it's definitely more um, ignorance than racism. Mm-hmm. So there's a difference. If you're racist, right. you're you, you're intentionally yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to offend somebody. You know, mm-hmm. you're offensively, you know, trying to talk to somebody. Like you or sincerely like, just don't like yeah, them because don't of like, their ethnicity. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So Koreans are just, they just don't know yet. You mm-hmm. know, it's just coming into all these like diversity groups and yep. shit. So, so that's that. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for questions oh, for today. Damn. Really? But uh, it's, yeah, it's already been like 40 minutes. So um yeah today i we we wanted to definitely because we got we had questions very like similar or same questions from multiple people mm. which is why we're like all right fuck it we should do a, a q a uh so episode is there, is there any recommendations um, that you would give to some people that want to come over here like what they should um what they well, should prepare of, oh well we talked a lot about that's you know but like you said most people you, you can buy shit online you know nowadays it's yeah. so easy we'll provide the links below um also a lot of people are uh just what about like apps i'm saying like uh mm-hmm. should they i would say that you some apps? okay i would say that if you want to make your life really easy google translate uh no i would use uh, cacao cacao maps yeah cacao maps i personally use google translate Google Translate? Yeah. Was well, that like an actual app where... That's an app, brother. You can, is it like Google Maps and pretty much... Uh, no, that's not Maps. That's not Translate. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. do you see this right here? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, do, what, do you, what do you do with that? You just you, translate whatever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. You just type in the words and they do have oh. a camera function. So you could like... It, 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 oh, it reads the words and it it translates? the words. That's pretty badass. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Uh, transcribes. I don't know what you would call it. You just point to whatever text you see in real life. And the the camera, the it will analyze that photo. And then it'll that actually put it into text. And then you can just enter and it will translate it. Okay. I, I never used that before. That's cool yeah. as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So Google that, Translate, yeah, right? Zer- Google Translate. I don't know if you can find that. Some apps you can only find on Android and others just on Apple. But uh, Google Translate. Um, what else is there? I mean, if you want to get around, I would say get Kakao Map. I mean, just learn elementary career. There is an article online now. There's a pretty popular uh, article on how to use Kakao Maps. Because mm-hmm. on Kakao Maps, if you download the app, it literally has all forms of transportation and it tells like buses, subways, you know, uh, those are the main two. It tells you then, where where yeah, to take yeah, yeah, yeah. where um, to take what time the transfer and stuff. Also, you can put like, how do I get from my location to this location? 
and it'll give you just like what Google Maps does. It gives you like in-depth thing, like you know, details. But mm-hmm. honestly, Kakao Maps is way better than Google Maps. Yeah, and get a- 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 accuracy wise. So also get the subway um, app so that it tells you like actually um, the Kakao map. It does have you. it, but it's all in Korean. Right. And, yeah. And also, I think just a, just getting a separate like subway app, a dedicated that helps like, too. application mm-hmm. is. It's much more, it's just going to be more fluid in terms of like, you know, bringing the cacao map. It's kind of like a, it's kind of heavy, you know, meaning like it, it'll take some time bringing the actual map up and everything. Right, and right. it'll be a little bit slower. Mm-hmm. But as for like the subway app, it's faster and uh-huh. easier. So uh-huh. yeah, sometimes I use that. So yeah, it'll tell you the time, estimated time and everything else. Yes, sir. And I think that's about it um, in terms of Q and A's for today. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna pretty much wrap it up. All right, brother. Is there anything you want to add? What I want to add? Um, I think maybe next time we should we'll talk about fitness. Yeah, right? we can we can touch upon. I mean, we had some questions regarding it, which we answered, but yeah. So um, for, actual for you folks. going into fitness and like how we do workouts and shit, because yeah, we have been working out for a while. Yeah, too. yeah, we're we're not experts, obviously. Of course we not. don't. We don't. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we're both of us. We work out regularly. Yeah. So you um, lift, bro? <clears throat> what? <laughs> <laughs> so like, we do want to like help you guys if you guys are just starting out, like how to work out or trying to get bigger or whatnot, whatever. Yeah. So we'll just give you the basics, but yeah. yeah. But as for now, um, yeah, that's it, brother. That's a wrap. Yeah. Yes, sir. So uh, we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm. And please, again, we're going to put our email in the description below. So if you have any suggestions about topics or any Q&As you really want us to talk about, Korea, Asia, anything in life, anything in general, please, fitness, whatever, let us know and we will be more than happy to answer those questions. Yeah. And once again, Joe will not send the D pick. So please don't (laughs) ask that question. All right. However, Brian, Mm. okay. Yeah. So no, I won't show mine. Oh, God. Okay. All right. All right, guys. See you guys later. Yes, sir. All right. Ladies.